as PDP launches its campaign today in Benin City, gunshots have heard have been heard near the palace of Oba of Benin, just as the People's Democratic Party's governorship candidate in the September election, Governor Godin Obaseki, was launching his campaign. The campaign is being launched at the Samuel Ugbemudia Stadium, a little distance from the palace. CBC, however, reported that many sustained injuries in the pandemonium that followed the gunshots. Meanwhile, the Edo State Media Campaign Council of the APC the governorship for the governorship election has accused Governor Gordon Obaseki and his party, the PDP, <clears throat> of unleashing violence on the people in Benin City following a confrontation in which the governor was booed and embarrassed while trying to gain entrance into the palace of the Oba of Benin. The chairman of the media campaign council, Mr. John Mayaki, in a statement released today, said the governor instructed his talks to attack his people as retribution for their public booing of his arrival with various chants labeling him a thief and rejected candidate and for spawning his rally allegedly attended by tax collectors and mobilized thugs. He also accused the governor and his loyalists of destroying their own b-boss at few locations in the state as a gimmick to deflect responsibility and get a reprieve for the alleged organized destruction of APC B boss after the party filled, filled a petition, filed a petition with the police and other relevance agencies. He said it is sad that Mr. Gordon Obaseki, the outgoing governor of Edo State, as today, Saturday, July 25th, displayed the same traits of intolerance and penchant for violence that made the people of Edo State unanimously reject him. Booed by the people at the entrance of the palace of her great Oba of Benin for handling the state to the PDP tax collectors who are unconscionably feasting on our collective patrimony. Mr. Gordon Obaseki, as an act of revenge, instructed the talks and courtesy he has spent the past few weeks recruiting in the state and beyond to attack the people with dangerous arms. This criminal and atlas action not only affirms a repeated warning that Mr. Godwin Obaseki fully intends to persecute <laughs> the election with violence and thuggery, but it is also it also shows shows that shows its lack of empathy, conscience, and respect for the lives and dignity of the people it was elected to save. His thugs have presently invaded the state capital, unleashing mayhem at anyone perceived to be critical of the failed governor or supportive of our party and candidates after converging at the venue of the governor's campaign. Flag off. They have poured into the streets, vandalizing properties and causing panic. We have heard unconfirmed reports of fatal injuries. Furthermore, as a way to avoid responsibility and expected sanction for the undemocratic and criminal destruction of her b boss the governor's talks are going around the city, deliberately pulling down their own b boss in, in an orchestrated gimmick meant to portray the false impression of violence on both sides, when, in truth, the desperate governor, in cohorts with his PDP godfathers, are the ones threatening the peace of the state. We condemn this action in totality and demand immediate intervention by the police and other security agencies. Our party, the APC, has built an effective campaign on the strength of a documented manifesto, tellingly on the back of four years of no achievement. Mr. Gordon Obaseki has neither a plan nor record of office to show, hence the resorts, the resorts to violence and thuggery. We call on the Inspector General of Police and all well many Nigerians to immediately rein in on Mr. Godwin Obaseki and begin the arrest of his reputed thugs who are committed to causing chaos and violence in a bid to prevent the people who have already voiced their rejection of Obaseki from participating in the election freely and without intimidation. <laughs> these people, eh, they are really, really funny. See this eh, Mayaki, or what's his name? Oh, these people, eh, they get mouth. Eh. Hey, politicians, hmm. if you don't have mouth, eh, 
you can't do much. Oh. Ah, see the way they just wrote this thing, eh? Meanwhile, PDP and the supporters, they are, they are shouting here and there that it is a APC that is organizing all of these things. This one will say it is this one that is important talks. This one will say this one is important talks. Then who is not right? Who is not wrong? <laughs> it's just so funny. In fact, eh, these people are really good when it comes to talking and, you know, placing and, you know, putting words together. They are very, very good. And that was why I just couldn't even look, hold my, my, my laughter. I was just smiling. So that was what happened. The, the, the we'll hand, learn that there is a gunshot and all of that. But now, PDP is uh, APC is accusing PDP that they are the one that did that just to get sympathy because they could not say uh, the people did not accept them. So because of that anger, so it does that mean that they will begin to fight themselves or they were fighting those who are booing them, according to what uh, Mayaki has said. That say uh, that is why they are trying to divert attention that. The police should arrest them because they are the ones who invited or imported these uh, talks with their task collectors, governors. Well, PDP perfected this act to at attract sympathy and to point accusing finger to APC. But APC is saying that uh, they orchestrated it because people did not accept them. So because of that anger, they are trying to plan all of these things. <laughs> it's very, very uh, funny. May uh, Almighty God answer you and give you reward for this comment published for the world. You know and believe in your comments. You must be rewarded for deliberately misleading people, saying that a PDP perfected this act to attract sympathy. We should not sit on our brain. The governor is the chief security officer of any state. Whatever happens to the security of the state governor, the state governor should be blamed. Ushomale is back in Edo. The violence has started first they attached a pdp meeting destroying many vehicles now this hmm, handiwork of osho mole pdp at work nothing more than that all these are obaseki and philip shaibu arrangements <laughs> these people eh, they know themselves they know themselves they know what they are capable capable of doing that's why they are they are antagonizing each other oh this one would have caused it so you will create problem for other people to think that uh, it is other people or the op opposition that is after you. I don't just understand. All these are the work of Obaseki, just like someone is saying here. And APC is still accusing them. You know, you don't know what you are saying. They want to kill their supporters. Why would they want to kill their supporters? I think that person has points there. But anything can happen. As far as Nigerian politics is concerned, anything can happen. APC, stop your nonsense and allow peace to reign you cannot win a do state this is the handwork of shaibu and obaseki it is well calculated attempt to attract sympathy no way for is a yamu hmm, the handwork of apc okay it is pdp it is apc it is pdp it is apc so some people have just given themselves to be injured some people have given themselves to be, for sacrifice <laughs> A lot of people they really have mind with. and just like the way I've been saying, no matter what you are going to tell people, they will not listen. No matter what you are going to tell them, they won't listen. Whatever they want to do, they will continue to support all these people. And at the end of the day, the children of these uh, politicians, they are well secured in their various houses. They will not come out. They will not come out. But the ones that are supporting them, the ones that even the governor or the the, the leaders are supposed to be taking care of, because it is from your their own sweat. You guys are feeding on do things for them you will not do things for them the same people will still be fighting for them supporting them you are not going to hear that uh, any of these uh, politicians uh, children will be involved or will be in that gathering never it will never it has never happened or you will hear that uh, there is a protest the president's uh, son or governor's daughter or whatever even counselor the uh, 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 student you can't see them during rally you can't see them around all of those things but it is the commoners the common people that will still be defending these politicians even with their life don't you think that it's really terrible because if you are fighting for a cause that you know that definitely at the end of the day you are going to get your own dividends as a as a citizen it will be a different thing but at the end of the day nothing will come for you their children all their loved ones will be well secured 
we'll be hearing all manner of things. This one is accusing this one. Uh, uh, party A is accusing party B. B is accusing party A. Then who is now at fault? Who is going to shed more light to know where this whole problem started from? Who is going to do that? Who is going to do that? It's unfortunate. Let's hear your opinion, guys, and leave your comments below in the comment section.